hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always stopping by so in today's video i'll be teaching you how i made this kinky straight hair blend wig it's actually a client that sent 60 pieces of different packets here to me she want me to ventilate the front and wig it for her the video you are seeing beside this wig is when i made this wig for myself so i'm going to walk you through how i made it for my customer too and here are the material in there for the tutorial you need don't mesh cap you need pencil and metallic pen you need a table you need a ventilating pin and the vanta net itself place your net on the mannequin head and use tipping or office pin to secure it so that it will not be lifting up when you start your air ventilation or you want to take any measurement of your net if you are working with already made vanta it will always come to a line which indicates where your air ventilation will stop so you are going to place table on that line that comes with the net and you measure one inch from that line that is where our natural hairline will be and this is how the hair blend we want to use look like the brand name is Soku and the hair is Brazilian bundle waves it comes with six bundles of hair and machine made closure so we are going to ventilate our front end from that machine made closure so this is how the hair looks like when i'm done losing it from the closure so the next thing to do is to pick one out of the hair cut the waves after you are done doing that you are going to use your take comb or your hand to remove the small part out because we only need the longer part for the air ventilation when you are folding the air into two make sure one end is longer than the other so that your air ventilation will not be too short so you are going to pinch and twist and use your hand to bring some air pieces out so that you can see the number of air you want to be working with i have to start the air ventilation of camera because i have a lot of video on my page explaining in detail on how to ventilate a frontal using air blend attachments and my hair if you have interest in those videos you can check my page for it but i'm still going to tell you the method and the strength of hair i use in this video for this particular video i use slant method which is diagonal method instead of following the vertical line which is straight line i'm following the diagonal method because it looks more natural and from the strength of hair that i use in this tutorial for the back section i use three strands of hair because i want the hair to look more fuller and for the first section I use two strands of hair so that it can look natural and full at the same time. If you are a beginner and you don't know how to ventilate, all you have to do is to pass your paint through the net and bring out the amount of hair you want to be working with. You are going to wrap your paint through the hair and pass it through the loop. Pass your paint through the net, bring out the amount of hair you want to be working with. Wrap your paint through the hair and pass it through the loop just like that. So I have to fast forward the rest of the hair ventilation because I don't want this video to be unnecessarily long this is how it looks like when i'm almost done with the air ventilation and this is how it looks like when i'm done with everything you can see how beautiful and natural it looks like so the next thing to do is to wear your wig cap on the mannequin or canvas head and place your frontal on the wig cap use tipping to secure it so that it will not be lifting up when you start your sewing when you get to the side of the wig cap before you secure the frontal with tipping make sure you push it forward so that it can form like m shape or look baggy to make the sewing easier, pack your hair upward and use your hair clip to secure it. After that, you place your tape at the back section and use your metallic paint or anything you know that will be visible on the net to mark like one, one inch on the net. But when you are closer to the front, we change this from one inch to half inch so that the front can be fuller and cover the back section. And this is how it looks like when I'm done with the marking. So the next thing to do is to start sewing your front from one side to another and make sure you are not giving too much space when you are sewing it so i will leave you to watch how i sew it then i'm going to explain the necessary parts later When you are done sewing the front the next thing to do is to start sewing your hair bundle from the back section following the line with you earlier. If the hair doesn't come with the same length, you are going to pick the smallest out of it, then you start sewing. But if this hair is the same length, you are going to just pick one and start sewing. To make the hair last longer, make sure you are knotting it at least twice to secure it and make sure you are not giving too much space so that it will not be 
lifting up when you start combining it later. So I'm going to leave you to watch how I saw the back section, then I'm going to explain the necessary parts later. Before I continue with the tutorial, I would like to thank each and every one of you that has been patronizing my small business. Thank you. You are the reason why I'm still here. Aside the wig air ventilation footage you see on my page that I'm selling, I'm also selling air ventilation and wigging material. If you have interest in any of these, you can screenshot it and send it to this phone number you are seeing on your screen. But if I do not upload what you want, you can send the picture to this same phone number you are seeing on your screen. Thank you. So back to the tutorial. After applying wax stick on the frontal part, the next thing to do is to use your horse comb to press it down. And this is how the hair looks like after I'm done styling it. You can see how beautiful it looks like. If you have interest in this week, you can contact this phone number you are seeing on your screen. I'll be dropping new tutorial every week on how to ventilate a frontal occlusion for different packets here that doesn't come with one. So we have come to the end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video to help this channel out. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Share with your friends. And turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I drop another beautiful video. See you in my next video. Bye.